and welcome to I'll Play the Meeples. Tonight, Sushi Go by Phil Walker Hardy. Published by Game Rights. Plays in about 15 minutes. Two to five players. Ages eight and up. Hello, I'm Walter. I'm David. I'm Anthony. And I'm Desiree. And tonight we're going to play Sushi Go. It's kind of like a little card drafting game. We're going to play in three rounds. You're going to get uh, eight cards with four players. Uh, first round, we'll pass to the left, then we'll pass to the right, and then you'll pass it back around to the left. Um, let's go over the cards. Main question, do you have to like sushi to play this game? No. No. Uh, in fact, it could be really probably any other theme, and I would be okay with it, but it does play well. Okay. So, to start with you got Tempora cards. By themselves, they're worth no points. However, if you could collect two of them, you will get five points at the end of the round. If you collect another one, well, thanks for playing, but you're still only getting five points. And if I got four? Then you would get ten. You, you do score for each set. Each okay. pair, yeah. Then we have Shishimi. Shishimi actually takes three. So it's just like Tempora, but you need to collect three of them. Okay? Uh, and of course, if you were to get two, you get nothing. If you were to get four, you get nothing. But if you were to be able to get six, you would get 20 points, which is a lot of points in this game. But if you got four, you would still get Seven. the ten. Still get ten, but nothing yes, for the extra but one. but it's not going to get you for the extra one. Got it. Know. Okay. The next one is Dumplings. So Dumplings is more like a set collection. You get one point for the first one, three points for the second one, six points for the third one, ten points, fifteen points. And if you happen to get more than that, well, then you just hosed other players out of being able to get so any. So it does cap. Uh, yeah, it caps at fifteen. And there, there's no, no need to go on any further than that. The next ones are Maki Rolls. Now, Maki Rolls, unlike scoring uh, each round for what points you have, you're going to collectively look at everybody, and whoever has the most will get six points, and whoever gets second most will get three points. And it doesn't go by the card, it goes by the symbols that are listed on the card. So in this particular case, that is three Maki Rolls, whereas this is two. And if I add this one onto this one, now that one is three, and those two players would have tied. And in that particular case, if they had the most, they would have split six points, so three points each. However, if they had the least, or not the least, the second most, then they would split one and or three points, get one and a half, which is rounded down to one point. Um, they're good to go for but, you know, it is limited scoring. The next one is a promo card. I believe I got this off of Board Game Geek. It's called Soy Sauce. And basically, you're looking for the most colors, so the most background colors. So in this particular case, you've got an orange, including itself, a blue, and a red. And if nobody else had that amount, or higher, then you, who played the soy sauce, would get four points for it. Now, if somebody else had three colors as well, then you don't get anything. And if, of course, somebody else had more than three colors, then you still don't get anything. So that's the soy sauce. Uh, puddings. Puddings are scored at the end of the game, not the end of the rounds. You collect them each round, and they will count as colors for the soy sauce. Uh, but you just store them aside uh, until the end of the game. And then at the end of the game, whoever has the most gets six points. And whoever has the least gets minus six points. So, I mean, that's a 12-point swing right there. Uh, and, of course, if you tie, you do split the, the minuses as well. Um, Zero is least, so it's not like, well, I didn't collect any, you know, so I, I, I'm not scoring that. No. Zero can be least. Yes, zero can be least. Okay. 
Then we have the chopsticks. The chopsticks is kind of like the wild card that goes around. Uh, normally you're going to take a card out of your hand, place it face down, pass the cards, everybody turns the cards up. If you play the chopsticks, it doesn't really count for anything, but on a future round or a future hand within that round, so it doesn't go from round to round, but within that round, you can play two cards at one time. Uh, you pick up your chopsticks, you say Sushi Go, which primarily tells the next player, oh, hey, I'm getting hosed over because I'm getting the chopsticks, most likely second or third time before the end of the game, uh, so they don't prepare and have anything to do. Uh, and at that time, you get to play two cards. We'll come back to this on a couple special occasions that we're going to talk about here. The last cards are all nigiris. We have a one-point egg. We have a two-point salmon and a three-point squid. And of course, you can play as many cards of those as you have. Uh, you get one for each one, two, or three. However, if you had the foresight to be able to play the wasabi first, then you can triple each of those cards. So that becomes three, that becomes six, that becomes nine. But not on all three. You have to have an additional wasabi for yes, each one of those cards. each one you have to lay. Which brings us to one of the uh, little challenges with the rules. If you lay down a wasabi and you play another nigiri, doesn't matter what nigiri it is, if you have a wasabi available, that nigiri has to go on it. It's not like you can save it. Now you can let the nigiri go by, meaning that you didn't play it out of that hand, but if you play it, it's going to go on top of the wasabi. So of course you want to pair up the uh, squid nigiri, three, with the wasabi for being nine points. Great. But if the next wasabi that, or the next uh, nigiri that comes around happens to be egg, well, you still get three times the points, so I mean, you know, you should still be happy, but that's what's going to play, be played on there. But again, you can just let it go by on the conveyor belt and say, I don't want to play that. I'm that going is correct. to select the pudding you, you instead. You can hope that something else is going to come up. A wasabi by itself counts as nothing. So if you put it out there hoping that there's going to be a nigiri coming and one doesn't come or you decide not to play it, you get no points. Which brings us back to the chopstick. So, if in your hand you happen to have had the wasabi and the egg nigiri, or a nigiri, okay, and you picked up your chopsticks, put them into your hand, and you played the wasabi and the nigiri, well, yes, thank you, you did play an egg nigiri and you played a wasabi, but you did not play the egg on top of the wasabi. So you still get only one times the points, or one point. I.e., how you lay them is how they become played. My suggestion is you play the wasabi first, and then you back it up with your nigiri and put it on top of it. In addition, if you already had a wasabi out there, and you had two nigiris in your hand, and you played the chopstick, and you threw them down like this, well, yes, once again, you did put a nigiri on top of a wasabi, but unfortunately, it was the egg one, because it was the one that laid first. Now, normally, new players, I'll give them a mulligan or two and say, okay, remember, here's what the rules are and remind them about, you know, even though you do get to play two cards, how about if you play one card and then play another card, okay? Just makes it a little bit easier and simpler for everybody, okay? <clears throat> That's all the cards. Let's talk about the scoring real quick. Now, these used to come in the original game, and when I found out about it, I went ahead and created some new ones. It's just two extra cards. Uh, I think they give you 10 within the game. 
and it's just a little double-sided. This is supposed to be your tray. You know, it's got a little sushi go symbol on the back. And numbered 1 through 10. And then you've got a tray of, uh, I don't even know what, Rocky rolls. rolls. Okay. And you start off with at your zero points. And then if you were to score five points, well, you just pull this down to five. And then if you happen to go to 25, well, you just rotate that around to 25. And then if you happen to go to, like, 57, well, now you got 57. Don't know why they took them out of the game. Uh, they said to use paper and pencil, which I'm like, well, that's fine, but it doesn't make it very, you know, convenient for traveling or anything. So uh, I went ahead and created these. I, I hope that they would put them back in. They're very thematic. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. So anyway, that's how the scoring goes. Everybody should start theirs on zero. The biggest downfall that I could see is that, you know, if you jostle the table, you know, oh, okay, well, what points did I have? You know, okay, well, just don't jostle the table. Okay? In addition to that, there is also the Sushi Go Party. Now, we're not going to be playing that one this time. We'll have a different video for that. It uh, allows for more players, well, you're up to eight, uh, and it's got a game board and some pawns or meeples. Additional. It's got a, uh, I don't want to say plethora, but a, a selectable much more. I mean, this one, I think it's 20 uh, delectable dishes. This one had one, two, three, like uh, 12, I think it is. So it looks like it added about eight more. Um, haven't really got it to the table yet, but looking to play it, it, it seems interesting. It looks like you select eight out of the... So, yes. not, so yeah, it makes it, it very dynamic. Yeah, it's uh, very got replayability to it. Oh, that's you cool. You know, that you're not going to be using all the cards. I'm surprised we haven't played this one yet. So, But uh, anyway, that'll be for another uh, uh, showing. So why don't we shuffle up? Any questions? Nope. Nope. Okay. Just want you guys talk amongst yourselves while I shuffle these up real quick. We're gonna get eight cards. First time we're gonna pass uh, clockwise, and then counterclockwise, and then clockwise again. So rounds go pretty quick. Uh, scoring. Goes fairly quick as well, it's not, I, I yeah, believe. Not bad at all. This would be a fun game to play while you're eating sushi. Uh, no. Well, you will yes. take your word on that one. <laughs> I think it would be. As the only sushi eater at the table, go for it. I would. I would love to. If you I could have like sushi, smell of it. <laughs> no, me neither. Have some sushi while playing the sushi game. Mm. Yeah. We have a friend uh, who said he was going to make some cards that would be more thematic to what. He would eat, you know, steak and potatoes. Oh, like steak and yeah. Yes. yeah. That never steak came to fruition. I thought it was. Yeah. Filet mignon shrimp? No, no. no oh, yeah, shrimp. grilled yeah. shrimp. Even then, no. Yeah. I like shrimp. It's it's not bad. But that's all the further it's I go. Steak and brats and. So you're allowed to look at all the cards, and you're going to decide once you get all eight which one you're going to play. And it is going to be nerve-wracking because you're like, oh crud, do I want this one or do I want that one or what do I want? Ah. You just have to make a decision. <coughs> and as we get going, you will want to look to see who you're passing to to see how you may want to adjust your thinking so you don't help them out by giving them a card right. that they need. We go left? Yep. Yeah, don't pick them up yet. Okay, we ready? Mm -hmm. Order to Squid nigiri. Sashimi. Maki roll. Wasabi! Uh-oh. Kind of try to get on that uh, mm -hmm. early, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Very 
surprised that you passed me this. Yeah. One question again. Yes. So if you have, so I have the one that has three. Yes. I can collect more of them. Oh yeah, yeah. You just keep count. stacking them. They they uh, overlap each other at a parse. No, no, no. no don't show it yet. Put it down. So I'm going to go and zoom in a little bit because I just feel like I'm too far. Yeah, that's fine. Although I don't want to go too far in because we'll have a bunch. Well, we just got to make sure that we play within our area. Yeah. Okay. So we ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Pudding sashimi. You just stacked yeah, them on top yeah, of you each other. To put that right there like so that. you can count them. Yep. Our doubling. <coughs> Maki roll. Mm, see what you're going for. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no way. I'm not going for anything. Ready? Yep. yep. Maki roll. Pudding. Dumpling. Maki roll. Chopper sticks. Soy sauce. Dumpling. Sashimi. Sushi go. Okay. Yep. Lip. Sashimi. Tempura and tempura. Dumpling. Maki roll. Salmon nigiri. Salmon nigiri. Egg nigiri. <laughs> I wonder which. Ready? Play. Yep. Tempura. Salmon nigiri. Chopsticks. Egg nigiri. Well, and your last one because it's your oh, egg nigiri. But it doesn't matter. It exactly. helped me actually. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I had. So those both last two cards. The first ones are we pull these out. I still need it. Oh, you've got the four. Okay. Do you want to get that one done real quick? Uh, oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who has the most colors? So I have one, two, three, yeah. four. I four. have six. Okay. So I get four points. Okay. Now we can take that. Yeah, away. you can take that one, and so you can take that one. If you had anything that didn't score. You, you take them away now. Right. So like, that one okay. can't score. So this goes over here for later Who's scoring. For this one. Can't yep, that score. one gets discarded because it's... And this okay. one can't score. No, right, one. right. Okay. So now what's left in front of you, who has the most Maki rolls? Obviously you do. do. You get six points. Who has the second most? I do, so I get three. Well, fine then. And these go away. Okay. Then you just count up the rest that's in front of you. So I have 10, 13, 15, 16, so I'm up to 18. 10, 16. So go to 16. Oh, yeah. And then I've got another 12, 10 from there, so I'm at 16. I'm tied with Anthony. What do you have? I am in last place with 8. How many do you have, Mr. Moneybags? I've got 18. It's only two more than you. So that was round one. Round two will go the other way. Counterclockwise. That way you're not able to just uh, continue to uh, prevent the person next to right. you going in the one right, way. Right. Now you get to go and have revenge. Right, right. Pudding. Wasabi. <laughs> Dumpling. 
Dumpling. So let me just give you a fair, a, a fair <laughs> warning. I'm probably not sending you any dumplings. Yeah, anyway. right. <laughs> Although I say that now. Okay, flip. Pudding. Dumpling. Ten four. Wasabi. Wasabi. Pudding. Ten four. Dumpling again. Mm -hmm. Flip. Maki roll. Salmon agiri. Maki roll. Dang it, one of them like no one has Maki rolls out. Man, what do you know? Everybody does. I do not. Flip. Oh, Maki roll. Pudding. Soy sauce. I didn't see you had three puddings over there. Well, remember, you're trying to also be not... Not the least. Yeah. Uh, so right now, one. Desiree is yeah, yeah. the least. Sorry. So you're not out of it yet. Tempura. Tempura. Maki roll. Salmon and you. Tempura. Thank tempura. you. Tempura. Maki roll. And last one, tempura. Tempura. So Sashimi. you had the soy sauce. soy sauce. So you've got four. I've got one, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. So okay, one so in the event of a tie. A tie. She doesn't have the most. She doesn't get it. Okay. Okay. So put the ones away that can't score. And then, who has the most Maki rolls? I have one. I do. I, do. I get six. I have five. So that's at 24. Let those go away. I have five. Oh, so I get three more. Yeah. Yes. One, two, three. And then I get another 10 for the tempura, so I'm at 34. I get six for the dumplings. Yep. So this would be 20? Uh, five, 10. Nine plus six is 15. And so it'll be 25. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry, 5, 10, because not each one is worth 5. It's The set's worth 5. Yeah. So 10 and 6, 16. So that's uh, 24. So I have 5, 1, and 6, 6 and 6, so that's 18 more. So that'll put me to 34. And I'm at 34. Dang, I suck at this game. I do. Okay. Negative Last round. And we go back I'm the other way. I'm you. You at least have one. Oh, yeah. So... See, I see in how many cards get left. <coughs> okay, lip. Wasabi. Squid Nigiri. Squid Nigiri. Oh. I can see we didn't play the right one there. <laughs> no, you did. Oh. You did. Oh, dang it, man. A 
dumplings. Pudding. Squid nigiri. That was squid nigiri. So far, we are going to be in a three-way tie for the least puddings. Yeah. So far. Yeah, too bad it's not minus three each. That's hurtful. At least truthful. <laughs> See, the sad part is whether all three of you or just two of you, it's still only one point. See, it should be rounded up. On the negatives? Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Dumplings? Pudding. Sashimi. Oh. <laughs> 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 Nagiri. Anthony. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. that many of those? Yeah. Let's do that. Flip. Yep. Hockey roll. Dumplings, sashimi. Dumplings, sashimi. Everything okay? Mm hmm. You sure about that? You look conflicted. Mm. Oh, whatever. Chopsticks. Dumplings. Soy sauce. Thank you. Sushi go. Are we turning up? Yep. yep. Oh yeah, sorry. Maki roll. Maki roll. Dumpling. And thanks for playing. <laughs> uh, you had, so I have one, two, three, four. You have one, one two, two, three, four. So you yeah. don't get it. Okay. So who has the most of Maki rolls? I have six. And I you, have four. So you get three, I get nothing. So six makes me 40. I'm so low. And then one, two, three, four, five, fifteen, eighteen. So that puts me up to forty two fifty two. I got a full set of, of a sashimi, plus, plus 10, ten, plus three, thirteen, plus three, sixteen, plus one, twenty-five, seventeen. I've got nine, seventeen, and six four, is fifteen or thirty-five. So that puts me up to 55 plus 7, 42. And then who has the most puddings? I do. 58. Who has the least? Anthony and I do. They we do. get this. Minus 1. No, minus 3. Minus, minus 3 because it's, oh, it's 6. Oh, it's 6. Yeah, minus 3. So 52. 39. I'm at 58. I'm at 34. 39. So, that's how you play Sushi Go. That's pretty cool. Nice little drafting game. Doesn't really take all that long. You know, you right. can play multiple hands. Little numbers game. That's cool. Yep. What, what, what cards did you like the most? Um... I thought you liked dumplings because I did like the dumplings. Can't take oh, oh, the dumplings because those they're, they're exponential and yes. that's fifteen points. Yes. I know. I wasn't getting many coming my way whenever it was you passing to me. Yeah, they probably get it. I on that last round, I kept getting more uh, pudding, and I'm like, well, let's see here. If I don't pass one to you. You're going to get minus six points. Yeah. So I passed one, and then here came another one, and I'm like, <laughs> well. Okay. Okay, <laughs> here you go. So all in all, you know, um, it's just a nice, quick little game. Uh, Phil Walker Harding, I mean, this is not his first hit. Uh, he's had others. I can't seem to think of any at the moment that we like, but I know that he's had, you know, a couple of others. That Can we do played. gizmos? Uh, could have. 
Let's see here. Do we have gizmos around here someplace? It's right over there. Dude, that is a Phil Walker. Yep. That's, that's another game. excellent game. That's an excellent game. Okay. Absolutely. Play it, that's Plug for gizmos on a different. Uh, yeah, definitely. When we played last, how many did we play with two players? That would you and I did it, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm good with doing a four game, four player game on that. So. So. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, back to the thoughts on this. It's definitely. I mean, I play this every chance we can get. I mean, it's just a quick game, especially when we're introducing people t into playing these types of games, yeah, this yeah. is one of the games we try to go for. You know, I mean, a lot of people think of, like, you know, Risk, Monopoly, uh, Hearts, Spades, Rummy. You know, well, this falls right into that Rummy kind of thing. It's cards. You're familiar with cards. Hey, you're trying to collect sets. Mm -hmm. Here you go. It isn't a big leap to, you know, cross them over into, hey, here is something that isn't one of those standard, you know, five or ten games, you know, that everybody grew up with. Right. Is that awesome. it? Nothing yeah. else for me. Okay. Good game. So, until the next time, remember, 7 p.m., do you know where your meeples are? <laughs>